Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my 2017 beauty favorites. This year was like the year of palettes for me and I think like everybody else too. Um, but first I'm going to start off with foundations. There were two foundations that I really really loved this year and the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love the packaging, I think it is so beautiful and just I love everything about this foundation, the way it applies, the way it wears, the way it looks on my face and it it really is a full coverage foundation which I love and I just love everything everything about this foundation and I think it is definitely worth the price so I would absolutely buy this again whenever I run out of this I really don't have anything bad to say about this foundation the next one is a drugstore one and it is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and it is definitely smaller than the Too Faced one so this has a little like dropper which I'm not too crazy about I would definitely prefer it if it had a pump but I mean for a drugstore foundation this is absolutely amazing this is such full coverage and you really don't need a lot of this you don't need a lot of products with the Too Faced one either but I was just so impressed with this one and I mean for a drugstore one you really can't go wrong and I've just been a lot more into NYX products lately I think they are so incredible and so like I mean they're so affordable too which makes it even better and this foundation is just amazing all around it does the exact same things that I love about the Too Faced one so these two are definitely my favorite foundations of the year moving on to concealers the NARS radiant creamy concealer has been like my go-to all year round I absolutely love it I feel like I'm almost out of this one just because I have been using it so much this past year but this concealer is full coverage super easy to blend it just completely brightens your under eyes and I love it. I'm obviously going to be saying that about every product in this video because it is my favorites of the year, so just be warned. And the next concealer I have is the Tarte Shape Tape. I was so late to jump on this bandwagon, but I am absolutely thrilled that I did because this concealer is amazing and what I love most about it is the applicator. I just I love how big the applicator is compared to all like other concealers just because literally all I need is like one swipe under each eye and then it blends out so good that is literally all you need just one swipe under each eye and you're done because I don't go concealer crazy like you know doing the whole triangle thing I feel like that's just that's just too much for me. I don't know. I am very very happy that I picked up this concealer and I will definitely be using it more in the next year to come. For mascara, I feel like there's only one that really stood out to me this year and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is just the one that I've been like that I've gravitated towards every time I do my makeup. This I've always loved Maybelline mascaras like I feel like they have never failed me and this one has Definitely not disappointed again. It's been like my go-to mascara for the entire year It makes my lashes long and voluminous not clumpy really like spreads the lashes apart love it I didn't have one Specific like bronzer or blush that I loved this year. I've been using like all different products for like that area of my face this year but one thing that I have grabbed more than anything I feel like is this it's the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer and the reason I've used this so much is because majority of days I don't do a full 
face like I have on now. Like I'll just do like foundation, mascara, lips, and then using this because I feel like this is everything in one. It's a bronzer, blush, highlighter, like all in one. So instead of doing each thing one at a time, I just grab a brush, mix it around in here, and just put it on and it looks it looks beautiful. It looks very natural and just really like brings the face together. This next product I haven't had for too long, but I've been using it a lot. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean Face Palette by Lorac. These colors are just absolutely beautiful. There's one blush color, which I really, really love, and then all of these highlight colors are so, so pretty. So I have found myself reaching for this a lot. And, oh, this is one um, bronzer color, which again is very pretty, very natural. So I have just been loving this palette, and I also just love the packaging. I think it's so pretty. <laughs> Another face palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero highlight kit. This is just stunning. I was obsessed with it when I first got it. I am still obsessed with it. I have used every single one of these colors and they all look beautiful. Forever Young and Kitty Cat, these two, are definitely my favorites. This one is intense. So I don't wear that on a day-to-day -day basis, <laughs> but all of these colors are so pretty. I love the pink like glitter packaging. It is just so, so beautiful. I have been like obsessed with highlighters this year. Like I went highlighter crazy. Now it is time for eyes. So I have two palettes that I found I've used the most this year, and the first one is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. This is relatively new to my collection, but I just, I can't stop using it. This is actually what I used on my eyes today, and all of these colors are so beautiful. I mean, you can create, like, any kind of look with this palette. There are golds, purples, pinks, mattes, shimmers anything you need and I am just obsessed with it. The only thing I have to say is that I still have the little like plastic sheet that it comes with because it has the names of the shadows on it. So for the price of this palette, I mean, I think it was $68 and I'm definitely glad that I that I bought it and to me I think it's worth the price, but I just wish it had the names like underneath the shadows that way. I could throw this out and be done with it, but other than that, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. The last product that I have to share with you guys is definitely my favorite. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. From the second I got this, I could not stop using it. These colors, I just, I can't get enough of them. I've used every single one of these colors to do different looks and every time I have loved the look that I came up with. And again, the packaging, I love it. It's soft pink and white and it has a mirror on the other side and also comes with a brush which is not in here at the moment. But oh, these colors, I am just so in love with them. Like every time I've gone to do my eyeshadow, I'll look at all my other palettes, but I always go back <laughs> to this one. They are just so pigmented, so easy to blend, and the colors, like, they just make it so fun to play with and come up with different looks. So I am very, very happy with this one. And now I want all of the other Anastasia eye palettes. That's an, this is another brand that I've been loving this year, Anastasia. I want like all of the blush kits, the highlighter kits now. I'm just, I need to control myself. So those are all of my favorite products of 2017. Also, I didn't have any 
lip products that I felt were my favorite or my go-to. I felt like I just was trying like a whole bunch of different things, so I can't really name one that was my favorite. I feel like this year too I've been trying a lot of different uh, name brands with lip glosses and lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, just all of that, so I can't I can't decide on just like one brand or one lipstick that's been my favorite. I've just been experimenting with lipsticks this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always love watching these videos at the end of the year to see what everybody else has been loving and throughout the year, see if there's anything I haven't tried that I want to try. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.